Hello guys, LNJ Tutorials here. In this section of our tutorials, we are going to talk about modifying tools. We are going to talk about how to use the modifying tools in the drawing panel. Now, what you should understand is that whenever you are drawing, you are not going to get the chance to just combine the geometries you draw to get the drawing you want to draw for example when you look at this drawing that i have this 2d draft that i have done here i just didn't combine geometries to get them i had to modify the geometries in order to produce the desired result so modifying is something you must be very very conversant with you must be very very conversant with how to modify your drawing that is what makes the the drawing very very meaningful so without much i do let us jump in the first thing that we are going to talk about now the drawing the modifying tools are located in the in the modify panel you can find them in the modify panel there is a drop down on where the modify panel is written that where you can have additional set of modifying tools and also when you select a geometry you can right click to also have a, some list of modifications that you can do as well so apart from the modifying tools being here you can still have some of your modifying tools appearing when you right click after selecting a geometry so in this in this section of in this section of our tutorial we're going to talk about that's the part one we are going to talk about uh, the first eight modifying tools the moving the cup the rotating the trimming and the extending the deleting or the erasing the copying the mirroring the filleting the chamfering the bending of blending of curves sorry and the exploding so the first thing you're going to talk about is the moving the moving now you have to be able to move objects around before you you use your drawing tools you have to first of all you can first of all you can first of all select the geometries you want to modify then you go and select the modification you want to apply or select the modification you want to apply and continue from there so what i'm going to do now is to select the modification so the first thing you're going to talk about is the moving now when you want to move you have to select all the objects that you want to move and please note before you watch this video i presume you have learned how to perform your selections lawson uh, did a very wonderful tutorial through uh, how to um, select your object the various types of selections so you must be able to select so when you if i want to move this create like draft here i'll have to open my window and select sorry i have to open my window and select the drawing which i want to move now when i'm content with the number of geometries i want to move i'll just have to press enter then I will be asked to specify a base point. The base point is going to be where I'm going to hold the, draw, the, the, draw, the drawing at. That is where I'm going to hold the drawing while I'm moving it around. So if I select here, that is where I'm going to grasp the drawing while I move it around. So that is it for the base point. Then I will specify. Now I can specify the next position by entering the value. First of all, by moving it a little in the direction that I want the drawing to be moved to. So I'll, if I want to specify it by moving it in a, in, a, in a distance of maybe 100 units to the right like this, the right like this, I'll have to, first of all, once the drawing was like this, I move it a little to the right, then I enter my value, maybe 100. So you can also specify the angle through which you want to move it. So you can also do that but i want to specify only the displacement so i just enter 100 and i press enter it will move the drawing to the to the right 100 units from where it previously was i can also move it to the left as well let me try that and show what i mean when i select the drawing just press enter then I can move it downwards rather I want to move it downwards so I just have to move it displace it a little in the direction I want to move it and if I know the distance I want to sorry in this case I know the distance so I'll just enter the distance I want to move it in the direction that I have 
started displacing it in so maybe in a direction of 150 units enter then it has moved the crates 150 units downwards its previous position so i could also if i do not have a specific distance i want to move the object in i can also after selecting the object and after going to move then I can maybe if I want if I want to use the mouse to move not knowing the distance but if I want to make sure that uh, this edge uh, sorry this vertex of the drawing touches this parts of the of the uh, outskirts then I can grasp it over here then move my mouse until I can place it anywhere that I want so I can also do that I can also place it here and click then I am done with the uh, moving and also you can initiate the move command by pressing m m sorry m then you press enter you can also enter it in the command line to get your then you will also specify the base points otherwise after selecting your drawing you can also um right click then you see a list of modifying tools that you see move amongst them the one which is easier for you to use the next thing you're going to talk about is the rotating the rotating um as the name suggests it can be used to rotate an object in a particular angle after specifying the base point of the rotation so i can select the objects before i go to rotate or select rotate before i go to the object so i go to rotate and now we ask to specify the base points now this base point is going to be the point around which the rotation will take place so if i select this this part the rotation will be done around this point if i select the center of the rectangle maybe somewhere here means that my rotation will be done around the point i selected so you should know where you are selected now if i want to rotate after selecting my base point i can choose to move my mouse and as i am moving if i have allowed the tracking system it will track it whenever I move it in an angle of 90 degrees. So if I move it 90, you see that it will snap it to 90. Otherwise, if you know the angle of rotation, you can also specify the angle of rotation. Maybe in an angle of uh, 60 degrees, then press enter, it will rotate it in that angle for you. That is it for the all. You can choose to rotate it with your mouse or enter your angle of rotation. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the trimming. Now, the trimming is used to remove excess of geometries. Excess of geometries. Now, when you take this, this is one full geometry, this circle. But you realize that anytime the moment this circle crosses this line, there's an excess of the circle here after the line, so I can trim this part off. So I need to have an excess of a drawing before I can trim it. So in other words, I must have another drawing intersecting. I must have another drawing intersecting that, that geometry. So if I have a line like this, I can't trim this line. It is not possible because there is no excess of it. But the moment another line crosses it, then I can trim any of the sides of the lines i can trim here 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 or there that is it for the trimming so you should understand that so if i want to trim i just have to select my trimming tool first that is it for the trimming you select the trimming tool first then you press enter the most conducive ways to press enter or you right click then you place it on the excess part of the drawings you want to trim so you realize that it didn't cross the line it will it will not trim past the line it will trim to the excess where the circle meets the line here i can also trim this part i hope you understand that so that is it for the trim so yeah anytime you see the red cross it means that you can trim so i'll press i just click on it i place it on the excess drawing i want to trim off then i click on it i click as many as the trimming that i want to as many as trimmings that i want to perform so this is the drawing of the trim. This is the drawing you will see when you when you place your cursor on the drawing. Sorry, on the trimming tool. That is the drawing you will see. So I want to produce an exact copy of the drawing. I think there is a line here. I've trimmed it. Sorry for that. Now I can also trim this part because it is excess. Something has one line crosses it. I can trim this part and trim this part. Now you realize I can't trim any of this. When you see this, this. The, this symbol there the white circle with the cross 
with a line crossing it you can it means that you can't trim because this one has become one single geometry however if you want to remove it this is one geometry and this another geometry so you can't trim you 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 understand it so if you want to delete it just go to your erase then you delete it now the opposite for trimming that is the next tool you're going to consider lies in the same pop-up menu with the trimming that is the extending that is opposite for the trimming if you want to extend extend what it does is that um the extend will move a geometry to touch a destination geometry that you select so first of all when you select extend or you can just enter if you want to if you want to trim just press t and r and press enter if you want to extend i think you have to press x enter x in the command line then you can you can you can do that so that is it i'm going to focus on using the drawing tools you're not going to pay attention to entering the shortcuts for the command line for the tool so i'm going to use the tools in the modifier panel so what the extending does is that you first of all have to specify the line which you want to extend the other geometry to meet in this case i want to extend these two lines you see here to meet this line so i'll be asked to specify the select objects the, the object that i want the lines to meet you understand it so if i want the lines to meet or touch this circle i'll select this circle but i want this line so i'll just place my case up it should have lighted blue i don't know what is wrong with my software but uh, you, you may see yours light blue so i'll press the object then when i'm done with all the objects i want to extend to then i press enter if you want to make it extend and touch this line this circle so you can also add it in the selection but i want only this line so press enter then you'll be asked to select the line that you want to extend so this you place it on it you realize that it will snap to touch the line then you click you place it on the second one it will snap to touch it i also would like to extend this arc to touch the line you see you place the candle box the square case on it and it will snap to touch it that is it for the extended now when you are done, just press enter or you right click and go to cancel then or you press escape to leave your command the next tool is the is the erasing command the erasing command it is used to erase a drawing so if you want to erase you can either select the drawing the geometries you want to erase then you right click you select the geometries you, you go to the delete or the erase sorry the erase then you click then it will erase it for you otherwise you can go to erase then you can place your cursor on there on the geometry you want to erase then you erase all of them or you can select a whole window and erase all of them then you press you right click to confirm the erase after selecting all the geometries you want to erase or you just press enter so that is it for the erasing otherwise uh, when you want to erase after selecting the object you can right click and you see the erase here i think that is quicker or you can press the delete key on your keyboard or you can enter erase e just press e and press enter then to erase it from the command line the next type of modification is going to be there the copying the copying copying is as the name suggests is it is used to make copies of drawings so if if you want to make maybe two copies additional to this drawing to this crate you have to select your crate after selecting then you go to you right click and come to copy selection or you press you enter c oh sorry c or rather then you press enter from the command line or you come to your 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 modified panel and you select copy then you are then you have to select the base points the points where you hold the drawing while you move it around now you will be able to create copies and allocate their new position that you want the, the new copies to have so when you press the base point i chose here so you'll be able to hold a drawing at that point then move it whatever you want to uh, destinate the new copy you can move it around however as you did in the movie you can also specify the direction and the distance through which you want to move it that is if you know so if you want to specify the movement if you want to copy or create a duplicate of this drawing right next to it 
in a distance of maybe 200 you need to just press just enter 200 from your keyboard then if you press enter you see one copy has been created 20 200 units to the right of the original drawing the original drawing is the one highlighted blue i also want to uh, I also want to create a duplicate left to it 200 units away. So I will also move the drawing, the new uh, the new copy left then before I enter my value. So another 200 units and press enter. It will make, sorry, sorry for that. 200 units and press enter. It will make the copy for me. I can also place another one up here, then press enter the the distance of the new uh the new position maybe 200 another 200 units of course then then when you are done copying you can also click if you are using the mouse to allocate the position you just click then you leave it there you move it to the next position you click then you leave it there then you when you are done copying as many as you want yes press yes press enter then you are done enter then you are done now that is it for the copying so the next thing you're going to talk about is the mirroring the mirror tool is used to create a duplicate a, a mirror duplicate of a drawing along a mirror plane i hope you got that so let me show you what i mean if you want to mirror an object maybe this is a half uh, table tennis so i want to add the additional half just below it along this line along this axis to create a full table tennis bat yes sorry it is the table tennis bat rather so i will select or first of all select the mirror from the pan panel of course i will select my all the drawings that i want to mirror if i want to mirror this one in addition i'll come and select it but i don't want so i will open my window to specify as many as selections i want you can also specify them individually if it is not all part of the drawing that you want to mirror but i want to mirror all this part so i will open my window to cover it all so then i'll go to i will enter mi or and press enter or i'll go to the mirror the mirror tool from the modifying panel but i want to use the okay let, let me go to the modify panel so i'll click on mirror click on mirror then i'll be asked to specify the mirror line it means that another copy that, that is going to be the line of reflection if you understand reflection very well so if if i am able to specify the line along this axis from here you, you click the first end of the line then you click you 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 move your mouse to to draw the mirror line and you click to specify the next uh, end of the line so from here from the tip of this drawing to the other end then i specify my mirror line and means that it's going to create a copy of this drawing to touch that mirror line and you should, you should be mindful of this too that the distance of the object which is the blue one here from the mirror line is going to be equal to the distance the image is from the mirror line i hope you understand mirroring so you'll be able to go about it that is it for the uh, you understand uh, how to perform reflections now when you are done when you click and you specify your mirror line you'll be asked to either erase your source object if you want to or if you don't want to you can leave it you can go to no then i have my full table tennis bat here otherwise i can also choose to um use a different mirror line like this maybe from here to here then you'll see what you've done uh -huh. so you should know where you place your mirror line that is it for the mirroring now the next type of uh, modification is the is the the filleting the chamfering and the blend curves the fillets uh, when you have a geometry with a sharp corner if i say a sharp corner i am talking about a corner like this the corner which is formed by the intersection of this of this circular arc and this line is a corner so a sharp turn like this the edge sorry like the vertex the vertex of this rectangle so if you want to change it to a smooth curve such that a smooth curve will be used to join this line and this line or any of the edges of the rectangle you can you can use your fillet tool 
So if you want to fill it, you just have to select your fillet tool, then you specify your radius of the arc you want to use to join the edges. So you, you come to the command line just below here, then you click on radius, then you enter your value, maybe a radius of about 50 units. You press enter. Then you select the first edge you want to use. So I'll select this one first, then also select this one. You see it will snap. It will change the sharp corner to a smooth curve. However, there are certain things you can also deploy in the uh, in the filleting tool. When you after selecting, after choosing your radius, you will 60. And if you want to apply the fillet to the four or the rest of the three corners, also you have to specify by going to multiple. That is when you can employ the filleting to all the three edges of the the three um, corners of the rectangle so i go to multiple then i can employ it here i can apply it here 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 and here this one and this one you see now it has changed all the sharp corners to uh curves the sharp corners to curves so i can also change this one and this one to a smooth curve i can also change this one and this one to a smooth curve and the radius of those curves are going to be the same 60 units so you should be mindful of that the next type of uh the brother of the filleting is the chamfering the chamfering the same way if you have a sharp corner you want to change that corner to a sloping corner like this if you want to change this part to a corner like this to make it sloping then you can use the chamfer i don't know whether the pronunciation is chamfer or chamfer but i think you see that so you can specify the distance of this line by going to the uh you have to specify your distance specify your distance maybe a distance of um 100 units then you press enter enter then you also specify your angle maybe you know the angle you can also press and specify an angle of say 45 degrees then press sorry press i don't know why it happens like that but you just enter your angle until it takes it so then you select the lines you want to chamfer so like this it means that this line is um 100 units long and it's its angle is made so that with the x axis is 45 degrees so that is it for the chamfering you can also have multiple there to employ the chamfering to multiple corners you can also do that the next thing is the the next thing is the blending of curves the blending curve is used to join two curves with another curve that is it so if i want to blend these two curves what i will do is to go to blend curves i will select the curve that i want to join with another with another curve so this and that then you see it will snap and create a new curve to join the two curves so like that like that and like that it will join the two curves with another curve that is a blend curve the next thing is explode now when you have a drawing like this look at this triangle you realize that when i put my chisel on it all the, the entire perimeter of the rectangle is highlighted you see it means that it's one full geometry you can move it and apply changes to it individually uh -huh. that is what the, that is what it means but what if i want to ex explode you see there's an arc here this is an arc this is a straight line this is another arc a straight line but they have been joined together to form one profile if i want to get all the individual profiles the arcs that have been put together to form this single profile individual where i can move them separately i can edit them separately i can modify them separately then i will go to explode so i will select the single profile like this then i'll go i'll enter either enter i'll enter x then explode yeah i'll enter x then press enter then you you realize that when you place your case on it again you see this line has been selected it means that this line is now a separate geometry it's a separate profile i hope you, you saw that i can also select this uh this arc it is now the, the, the drawing has been broken down into the individual geometry that you have four minutes i can also you see this one is also a single profile i can also explode it you realize that you see this arc has been selected individually uh, showing you or telling you that now 
all the individual components of the drawing that are put together to form that single profile you had before have not been made available separately for you so that is it for the exploding now this is going to be the end of today's session of the modifying this is going to be the past one the next lesson i'm going to take you through one two three four and the rest of them that you see here until we are done so thank you very much for attending to today's tutorial this is the end of today's lesson and please subscribe to our channel for more videos and let us know your comments your, your intentions and your suggestions that you have for us and also if you were helped by this drawing please don't forget to hit the like button for us thank you stay safe and see you next time bye bye